Compared to other fossil fuels, natural gas has the lowest carbon footprint while being available in large amounts. Therefore, the worldwide demand for it has increased significantly. In order to ship natural gas across the world, it has to be purified so it can be converted into so-called liquefied natural gas or LNG, a process which happens in land-based plants located close to the gas fields. The land-based nature of those LNG plants makes gas fields further offshore difficult and more expensive to reach. A possible solution seems obvious. Since gas fields can't move to LNG plants, the LNG plants have to move to the gas fields. But that takes a completely different approach. At about 2007, we were contacted first by one of our engineering partners. And the question was, we want to build an acid gas removal unit for a floating LNG plant. With floating LNG, you can actually uh, build a ship build the gas treatment plant and the liquefaction plant on top of a ship and put it right where the gas field is. We thought, well, this business is too attractive and uh, technically so challenging that we would like to enter it. It was pretty obvious to us that means a tremendous challenge. Natural gas can only be liquefied after its entire CO2 content has been removed. Even the smallest remains sublimate form dry ice and harm the process significantly. A couple of technical hurdles have to be overcome to solve this problem. One of them is the maldistribution of the liquid inside the towers of the gas treating unit. Ralph Knox, one of the engineers within the OACE research team, uses a specially developed software that simulates the acid gas removal process as it would take place on a swaying ship. So the liquid flows on top of uh, the column and when the liquid moves down, um, it is influenced much more by the motion of the column. Here we have high velocities. On that side, there's even no liquid flow anymore. The simulation's goal is to define the motion of a floating LNG vessel in relation to time. The simulation also helps to identify the grade of maldistribution. In a second step, the data is used in an accurate process simulation to calculate the CO2 removal efficiency. We need to consider this maldistribution in the design. That means uh, this has uh, an effect on the dimensions of the column, on the liquid flow rates. And we now are able to provide a reliable um, design of such a unit. So we really put all our engineering capabilities, all the capabilities of our partners into that project. And we are very positive uh, that our units, our OAS units, will perform as designed. The first floating LNG projects have been awarded. Now everybody in the industry is waiting for the first floating LNG plant to enter the sea. BASF. We create chemistry.